YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is November 2nd, 2017, my outing number 140 of this year. As you guys can see, wow, what a change of scenery, huh? It is like summer today, you know? Two days ago, I filmed a video, I was like all bundled up, four layers. Today, it's like short sleeves. Can you, can you guys believe it? So needless to say, uh, oh, first and foremost, right? I'm here in Hamilton Lake, in Hamilton, New Jersey. We got to do some fishing over here today. And I was going to say, needless to say, it is a beautiful day. The fish should be biting today. Today is a high of 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has been cold for the past two days. And today water temperature is on the rise, right? I mean, 75 degrees at this time of the year. That's pretty crazy, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I decided to come here to the good old New Jersey Pine Barrens to do some fishing. The water here is really nice, you know, a lot of pickerel too. But the location that we're fishing today, Hamilton Lake, is actually quite a challenge, you know. It is a highly pressured body of water. A lot of people fish here, you know. Every day there's people fishing here and people like to put their kayaks and their boats in the lake too. So definitely not easy to catch fish. To make this video a little bit more interactive, I actually made a poll on my Instagram earlier today asking people if they wanted today's video to be a multi-species assessment or a subscriber lure challenge. As a matter of fact, check this out. I got the subscriber lure challenge box here with me right and uh, we got i think 59 percent people saying they wanted a species assessment and 41 percent uh subscriber lure challenge so we're focusing on the number of species that we are going to catch in this video don't worry though for the 41 percent that said they want subscriber lure challenge i do have the box with me and we may use some of the lures in this box today to catch different species of fish you know but again the main focus of this video is going to be how many different species of fish can we pull out of the highly pressured Hamilton Lake you know I gotta leave a poll above just to make it a little bit extra interactive you can vote and try to give it a guess before we conclude the video for today okay let me get my stuff ready I am so ready to fish man let's get this fishing session started okay let's get this fishing session started here folks and since we're doing a species assessment today in other words we're not fishing for sizes we're actually fishing for a species we're going to be using the casking sharky 2 1500 with casking fluoro coat fluorocarbon line eight pound test casking perigee 2 and on the other side of our lines I didn't really expect to do a species assessment today. I actually expected to, you know, do a subscriber lure challenge, right? Which is why I'm using the setup, but you know, this heavy setup. But anyways, on the other side, we got a size 10 hook with just a small piece of red worms. Note that today I'm not using night crawlers. I'm using the big red worms. And the cool thing about using worms for a species assessment is that number one, you never know what you are going to catch you know that is one of the fun aspects of fishing with worms you just never know what you're going to catch because all different species of fish like to eat worms you know and number two even the fish in the most highly pressured bodies of water can't resist live bait right so we're gonna roll with the setup for a little bit and uh, we shall see how many different species of fish we can catch here at Hamilton Lake today. Come on, get it, dude. Get it. What the heck? What type of fish is this? I got him. I got him. Whatever it is, I got him. What it is, dude. This is some micro species of sunfish for sure. Very finicky, these guys. There are a few species of sunfish in the micro or in the pine barrens that I don't have yet. Is this one of them? Oh man, it fell in the dirt. Uh, actually, no, this is just a little bluegill. Man, I could find, I thought finally it could be a blue spotted sunfish or like a mud sunfish or something like that. But now, nah, guys, check this out, huh? Just a very, very small 
bluegill micro fishing at its best man lepomis macrocerus first species of the day gotta take a shot just for fun you know but uh I, you know i saw a few micro species swimming around here i thought man maybe new species but yeah nah just a small bluegill all right Oh, look at that. We actually got a fish. Jeez, Louise, finally something. Oh, dude, it's a jumbo pumpkin seed. Second species of the day. Look at this, the Lepomis gibosus. You guys know this is a pumpkin seed because it's got blue rays, blue uniform rays on its face, a little red dot on the opercular flap, dots on its body, not to mention that the shape of the body, right, is more oval than elliptical, right? And the mouth is not as big as a green sunfish or warmouth. Okay, some life, man, finally. Let's take a shot and release this guy. I gotta tell you guys, after getting tons of micro bluegill and no blue spotted sunfish or, you know, mud sunfish, getting a pumpkin seed like this ain't that bad, you know what I'm saying? That's good stuff. It's been a slow day so far. Oh, we're getting a bite here. Fish on. We got something on here. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Just don't get off. Oh, it's a little pickerel. It's a little pickerel, man. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Species number three of the day. Look at this. The Azox. Um, I'm not going to say its last name, but you guys get it, right? N-I-G-E-R. A lot of people believe it is actually pronounced Niger, you know, or Niger, like the country. But the Latin pronunciation is actually, yeah, the other way, you know? There you go. Beautiful specimen. This is not a northern pike, I would like to emphasize. This is a chain pickerel all right first discovered in 1818 by good old charles alexander lejeur it's got the black mark here at its eyes right that identifies it as a chain pickerel in the chain like patterns on its body all right let me take a shot and release this guy all right time to release this guy i'm gonna release it over here this one is actually pretty skinny you know pretty skinny but uh it's a beautiful species of fish regardless look at that huh yeah it's a beauty wait a little bit there it goes like I, like I told you guys you know you should read up on it first identified in 1818 by Lejeur French uh, French explorer and naturalist you know I think he stayed in the United States from like 1815 to 1837 or 1834 85 I don't remember but you know, yeah, beautiful fish regardless. First discovered 199 years ago. Quick update so far, fellas. We are at three species of fish right now, which is okay, but the fishing has been really, really tough today so far, okay? Not a lot of fish along the edges. See, for example, this is the spot where I am at right now, I have already fished all around the edges, right? And as you guys can see back there, there's a little gazebo, right? I fished all over there, all around the edges already, and not a lot of fish. So I am really going to use my last resort, which is the gulp minnow under the float. As you guys can see, I got my float out there right now, and what I am going to do for the rest of the day is I am going to be casting the gulp minnow around the edges, out there, try to find some fish and see if we can, ca we can catch some new species here in this video, okay? So stay tuned. Oh, fish on. What we got here? 
Oh man, dude, it's a nice bluegill though. Whoa, I wasn't expecting this, that's for sure. This has got to be the biggest bluegill of the day. This is a, this is actually a beauty. Check this out. Compared to those micro bluegill that we caught earlier today, you know what I'm saying? Let's take a, let's take a shot at this one. I think this one is worth a shot. Very nice, man. Whoa, okay. You know, when you got a tough day of fishing, I always tell people any fish is a good fish. You know, this is a good fish for sure. Whoa, you hear that? Oh, he was ready to go. Oh, fish on! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> it's a little pickerel. <laughs> oh, I was so excited, man! I was just like, whoa! I, you know, today has been so tough. When I saw that fish come to get my gold medal, man, I was like, hell yeah! Alright, let's put it in the water and see if it can just unhook by itself. It's not hooked very badly. Come on, you can do it. Come on, yeah, you can do it. Come on, man, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, uh, no. No, all right, it, it cannot do it. Oh, it did it, it did it, look at that. Yeah, very nice. It was just barely hooked, you know. Took the gold minnow too. Little pickerel, so cute, huh? Fish on. Oh yeah. Down, down, sun, down. Oh, it's a little bass. Look at that. <laughs> little large mouth bass. <laughs> Check this out, huh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Bro, this is our fourth species of the day. Huh? Micropterus salmoides, man. Finally, one of them decided to show up. Check this out, huh? On oh, a tough day like this, man. We would take anything, you know? All right, that's good, that's good. All right, let's, let's... Check that out, huh? What a little beauty, huh? Apparently, this is about the size that they get here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but yeah. That was tough to catch this one today, man, that's for sure. You know, today, before I filmed the intro, I was looking at the lake, you know, and how beautiful the lake is. And I was really thinking to myself, <clears throat> why is it that I don't come fish here at Hamilton Lake more often? You know what I mean? It's such a beautiful place, right? Well, I kind of remember now, you know what I'm saying? Dude, this place is brutal to fish at. We finished today with four different species of fish, the, the bluegill, Lepomis macrocarus, the pumpkin seed, Lepomis gibosus, chain pickerel, right, the Ezox, and largemouth bass, Micropterus salmoides, and we should be grateful, we should thank the fishing, <clears throat> the fish gods, that we were actually able to catch those fish, because seriously, guys, it was a brutal day here on the lake, you know, I mean, if you have a boat over here, I kind of get a gig maybe you put the boat in you have more access right it is a big lake but whew, from shore today you guys didn't see you know i fished for about five hours in this lake today and i caught like what seven or eight fish tops including the two micro bluegill you know what i'm saying i run top waters i run different artificial lures that were inside the subscriber lure box you know not a single bite. I run night crawlers, like not night crawlers, but like the red worms, right? I run the red worms and I only caught like some micro bluegill and one chain pickerel, right? I mean, those are like real worms, man. You know, it's a tough day when you run real worms in a body of water and you don't catch a lot, you know? So it was definitely tough. Um, if you guys decide to come down here and give it a try, hey, feel free to do it. But it's Hamilton Lake right now is not really a place that I would recommend from shore, okay? No, no boat from shore. But needless to say, this is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish I had more footage for you guys, but this is what fishing is all about, right? Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win that much, you know? Like I said, we should be happy 
that we caught all those different species of fish today. Time to go home. I will see you guys next time. Tide lines and take it easy. Whoa, 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 easy, man. I didn't do anything yet. Take it easy. I'm not going to eat you up or anything. Although you guys do look very yummy. It just so happens that you are in my way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm going this way too.